Hi, this is Tom Moore with AWS. Today we're going to talk about using Amazon Textract in your .NET Core web applications. In this video, we're going to cover a few things. First, we'll talk about what Amazon Textract is and how it can be useful in your applications. Next, we'll have a look at Amazon Textract in the console and see some of its features in action. We'll then look at how to call Amazon Textract in your custom .NET Core web application. Finally, we'll walk through a demonstration of Amazon Textract in my sample application. Amazon Textract is a service that automatically extracts text and data from scanned documents. Amazon Textract goes beyond simple object character recognition, or OCR, you also identify the contents of fields and forms and information stored in tables. Many companies today extract data from documents and forms through manual data entry. This is slow and expensive and very error prone. Other customers use simple object character recognition software that requires manual customization or configuration. Many of these software packages require the user to create workflows and configurations for each document they want to be able to read in. When the form changes, they have to recreate a new set of rules for each version. Textract eliminates the need to constantly create and maintain a library of forms by using machine learning under the covers. Some examples of use cases are enabling users to perform text-based searching on documents that may be scanned images or PDFs. You can build automated workflows based on the receipt of a document, for example, automating claim applications or change of address notifications from your customers. With Textract's ability to process both forms and labels, you can extract structured data from forms. You can also use Textract to help identify sensitive data and forms that may need to be redacted. Let's see a quick demo of Amazon Textract in the AWS console. You can see here that I have a simple expense claim form that has been scanned into a PDF document. I filled in some data for expenses for my recent trip. Here I'm logged into the Amazon Web Services console. From the search field at the top, I'm going to start typing Textract. And select Amazon Textract from the drop down menu. From the home page, I'm going to select Try Amazon Textract. I'm going to drag my expense form onto the panel here and allow Textract to analyze the document. After a few seconds, you can see that Amazon Textract displays the results of its analysis of the document and shows me the results in this area. In the console, I can see the individual words that have been extracted with the raw text view. I can also select the form view to see the values that have been extracted in key value pairs. I can also change the view to tables to see the structured data that was extracted from the table in the center. Now let's have a look and see how I could implement this in my own application. The workflow for my application works like this. I'm going to create an Amazon Simple Storage Service, S3, bucket to store my files. My application will allow the user to upload a file to my bucket through the website. For this, I'm going to take advantage of the file transfer utility built into the Amazon S3 SDK to do all the heavy lifting for me. Because I might want to be able to reference my files later, I'm going to store some metadata about my files in DynamoDB. This is not a requirement for using Textract, but it's how I'm building my application. Next, I'll call Amazon Textract to analyze my document and tell it what features I want to enable. This could be forms processing, table processing, or both. My application just uses the forms processing option. Finally, I'll get the results back from Amazon Textract and show the results in my UI. 
Amazon Textract is a fully managed service. This means that there's no infrastructure to set up for the Textract service itself. However, I do need a few things in place to support my application. I'm going to need an S3 bucket to upload my forms to for temporary storage. You can see here, I already have an S3 bucket created. I'm building and running my application locally using credentials stored in my shared credentials file. The identity that I'm using already has access to this bucket. If your application were running inside of AWS, you would achieve this by using an IAM role assigned to your instance. I'm going to assume that you already know how to create a new .NET Core MVC application, so I'm not going to go through those steps in this video. My sample application works by allowing users to upload files to Amazon S3 and then sending the details of the file to my Amazon Textract controller. The first thing I need to do is make sure I have the necessary SDKs added to my project. I'll do this with NuGet. I specifically need to add the following SDKs. AWS SDK.core, AWS SDK Textract. I'll be uploading my files to S3, so I also need the AWS SDK.x3. And finally, because I'm storing metadata about my files in DynamoDB, I'm going to install the DynamoDB SDK as well. Let's have a look at the actual code in action. The first thing I've done is I've set up my application settings file to contain some values that I need for my application to run. The first being the name of the bucket that I'm going to upload my files to. And the second being the profile name in my shared credentials file that I'm using to provide credentials to my application so that it can run and have access. I'm going to run the application locally, and then I can step through the code. I'm going to navigate to the upload controller. From here, I'm going to browse and find the file that I've used. The sample file that I'm using is a snippet from our website that covers the Analyze Document API. From here, my application retrieves the files from the web form. I then create an S3 client, passing in the credentials in the bucket region that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the file transfer utility, which is part of the Amazon S3 SDK, and it takes care of all the heavy lifting when it comes to transferring files. The DynamoDB client allows me to easily store the metadata for the files that I've uploaded to use later on. Here in the Textract controller, I've got my own method called AnalyzeDocument. 
First thing I do is I set up the features that I want to use in my call to Textract. In this case, I'm using forms. It could be forms, it could be tables, or it could be both. I'm going to create the client. I'm going to create my request, passing in the bucket where my files are stored, and the path and file name. I'm then going to await the results from the service. And then I'm going to retrieve the lines and the individual words from the return. I'm now going to display the text on my web page so you can see the results. What you can see here is I'm displaying the, the image that I used. And you can also see the individual lines of text that have been retrieved. All of these blocks of type line correspond to text lines in the document. If I need to, I can also retrieve the individual words. So each word becomes a text block. And that's all there is to it. Our website includes full documentation on the Amazon Textract client API. This includes details such as how to create the client, the properties, and the various methods. For example, analyze document, which I called in my application, detect document text, get document analysis, etc. All of this documentation is available on our website for you to use. Thank you.